Welcome to another video, this time featuring another update to the advanced combat tracker that shall replace the video of last year and also shall include the Mopi Mopi display that I recently discovered and that kind of fits more to my clean UI than the Kagero display that I used before that. Of course, like always the disclaimer, Advanced Combat Tracker is technically not allowed to use in Final Fantasy XIV because it violates the terms of service. And of course, that's the case, but as long as you're not parsing with harmful intention to other players and not spreading these uh, numbers publicly and just use them for your own purpose and share them with friends you trust, you won't run into any issues. So don't worry about that as long as you're not making trouble with those numbers. Okay. So for the whole installation process, like I mentioned last in the last video, this is made much easier than before and the installation doesn't take very long. So let's go over that and then hop into Mopi Mopi and of course check all the boxes for troubleshooting aspects. First of all, go to Google and Google the Advanced Combat Tracker website, click it or just go to the link in the description, then go to download and go onto the Advanced Combat Tracker setup Then download this set up X file, go to your download folder and before clicking it, before starting the application, right click on this as the first troubleshooting aspect, go to properties and check this box unblock. It's not a very, very big problem, but make sure to just do this because um, it can avoid trouble that can come up later on. So do this and start the application. Okay, now this will just simply start the whole thing and you will have to look for a destination folder. In my case, I always use this where my yeah, installation path for Final Fantasy XIV is found and I also made a, another folder inside of this installation path. And go for that ACT folder that I made before this video and click on install next and close. It's very simple, just follow what is yeah, required from you. Then this will automatically yeah, make a desktop shortcut for the Advanced Combat Tracker application, which is actually the application itself. But before starting the application, there's another thing you need to take care of, and that is right-clicking the application, go to Properties again, and then go to Compatibility. And here you need to check the box, run this program as an administrator. That is very important, otherwise some stuff won't run properly. Just do that, apply. So every time you will open up this file, it will ask you if it's running as an administrator and you will just click yes. And this will open up the whole starting process and the startup wizard here. So let's go through the wizard. It's super simple. It's straightforward and comfortable. Just go through the whole wizard and start next. Then it will download the Final Fantasy XIV plugin because it registers the game somehow in your um, registry. I don't know how they do that. It's it's. Simply, it's it's just ACT magic. <laughs> okay, download and enable this. Is this will take a while, but nothing you need to worry about. And it it doesn't make sense to go catching a coffee or anything. Just go next. Then it will ask another time if ACT will be used for Final Fantasy XIV. You click yes. Then here you don't need to check the auto load recently changed log files, except you're having trouble afterwards. But you can adjust this later on. And yeah, it's it's. Most of the times this will work flawlessly without any adjustment. Then go to the auto version check. Here you need to check the box because every time a plugin is being updated, the advanced combat tracker will not get notification to you and will inform you that you have to update or it will automatically update most of the times. And this is mandatory to get this application started. So if you're wondering when the advanced combat tracker is not working after a patch, just wait some days when the um, publishers, the editors of the Advanced Combat Tracker and the Final Fantasy XIV plugin have updated this according to the file distribution, file destinations and, and code that the new patch is providing and they need to adjust that to the code of it. I don't know. I'm really not an expert on this, but that's how it works. Just be patient after each patch and when installing this. Okay, then you have to close this and this is actually what, what everything you need to do here. Just go into the plugin section now and you can see the advanced combat tracker Final Fantasy XIV plugin has already started and is working properly. Now you go to get plugins and here on this section you will have another 
option to download these overlays that are mandatory to get this style that we are using with Kagero or that we are using with Mopi Mopi. Otherwise, you will have this generic ACT style that is very, very stupid to use. You can't use this properly, I guess. Um, yeah. Then you click on the Final Fantasy 14 Plus Others Overlay Plugin. This is the standard overlay plugin made by NGLD. Props to NGLD for this awesome work and of course to all others that contributed to this software. Then download Enable and here you will have another installation black magic running over and uh, doing the thing for us. I don't know what's happening there, but it's extracting files, opening archives and everything is set up properly. And now you can see the overlay plugin DLL is initialized. That means it's running kind of like it should. Now you go into the overlay plugin DLL right here on the plugins, then on the overlay plugin DLL. And now comes the time on the part where you have to choose the skin that we're using. Skin means Kagero, Mopi Mopi or other skins that you can use for advanced combat tracker. You can enable them and get them by clicking on new. And here you have yeah, the option to make a name, we will call this Mopi Mopi because that's what we're choosing and then go to preset and check the Mopi Mopi one and click on OK. And as you can see, it's it's trying to actually start it and kind of is actually starting it, but there's no game. And there's another thing before we go into the game that you need to check before doing that because that is also mandatory to get this running. So you're going to this search bar here and you will hit up your firewall. This will open up the firewall settings and here you will have to make an inbound rule for the advanced combat tracker. And in my case, I'm already having this rule, so I'm deleting this for you right now. So now you get to new rule and go to program. Then you have to navigate towards the advanced combat tracker installation path. Oh, that is not being used anymore. Yeah, here we go. Advanced combat tracker then you will choose this application. Uh, some of you that don't use an x64 processor CPU have to do this for this application as well, but most of the times, I think 99% will have to use this simple file here. So do this on this file, and maybe if you have trouble, do this for the other file as well. Otherwise, just this is simply enough. Go to next, then allow the connection, then check all the boxes here and give it a name. ACT for example and this will work now. Now everything is set up to go into the game and set up Mopi Mopi. So see you around in Final Fantasy. Okay so when you started Final Fantasy 14 you just get this Mopi Mopi display and you need to adjust the language first. To do that click on these dots here and go into the most bottom section then click on this global globus spot or icon and just navigate towards English, or it's actually in, in German as well. Nice, that's cool. Okay, go to English and you can actually read stuff. Now it's very important to go to management tools and here comes all the magic that you can get with the code that I provide in the description. Just follow the paste bin link. I will show you how that works. You go to this paste bin link and you just go from here to here and copy this by uh, control copy or just right clicking and copy and then go back to the Mopi Mopi and insert this by clicking uh, control V but the problem is when you have Final Fantasy 14 in focus you can't actually do anything here so it's very important to use the advanced combat tracker in focus or for example or the desktop and then do this whole stuff then go for the arrow here and now you think, okay, we got the code, everything works fine, but it doesn't. Because we're using the rate interface and to make this rate interface work, we need to do another step that's very, very important. So therefore you go to design and go for rate mode. Here you click on this symbol here, the rate mode. Display the table simply when there are 10 or more combatants. And the basic setting, you can't adjust that with inside the code or anything else. You need to do this on one. So this means that this will be displayed even when you're just a single player participating. So that means in that moment when you're one player, this will be active in the style that we're using. So go back and of course you can adjust 
everything here. You can use the colors. You can change the colors. I think you should definitely go check this out for yourself. It's not that difficult and there's many, many options and many customization methods. So just take a look for yourself and get into the style that you want. But yeah, hopefully um, you can have a better start from the code that I provide here. Okay, then we're just going to test this and you also have to make sure that this window will always be transformed into this small window at the moment when you're participating in combat. So for example, we're just trying to see if that is working and it does. It's working very nicely. Okay, here we go. So, you got this in the same way that I'm using it. You can rearrange this, you can adjust the, the scaling, the, the size of it. And of course, if you want to get back into the menu, always make sure that in my style it's kind of very invisible. You can see a very little bar here, but it's super, super invisible. So, always kind of remind yourself where the position of the options are or is located and then get back into the menu where you need it and to the settings for of, co of course because you always need to click the options button here okay so yeah that's it that's everything you need to know if you need to know or want to know any more details about the configuration of mopi mopi itself i really think you can just take a closer look by yourself and go through this um in the way you want and it's very very comfortable to adjust this and of course you can always hit me up on discord as well so feel free to join the discord found in the description think about the code found in the description and the advanced comment tracker link and you should go fine with the installation of this so yeah thank you for watching i hope this helps you start getting started into advanced combat tracker and like always think about not doing harm to other players with the data you get from analyzing so as long as that is secured until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and keep loving Final Fantasy.